We're given this question where we have 100 ml of stock solution that has a concentration of 200 mg per ml of amphicillin in the ionized water. We want to make 50 ml of 25 mg per ml of amphicillin in the ionized water. So how much amphicillin and the ionized water are needed? So let's start with identifying what are the given information. So we have a lot of numbers here. Let's go with the first one. 100 ml and 200 mg per ml. These two things are for the same stuff, which is the stock solution, which is basically our amphicillin in the ionized water. And then we continue on with the second sentence. We have 50 ml of 25 mg per ml. And that is another set of data. So that first set that we have in the first sentence, 100 ml and 200 mg per ml, that's for the stock solution which means that's the more concentrated amphicillin in the ionized water. And we want to make a less concentrated solution. So that makes that 50 ml and 25 mg per ml the working solution, which is a fancy way of saying a diluted solution made from the stock solution that we're going to use. So now that we know what we're given, let's look at what we're asked to find. So basically, we're asked to figure out how much amphicillin stock and how much the ionized water are needed. So basically, we need to find the volume of our stock solution and the volume of the ionized water that was added. So we need a plan. Since this is a dilution problem, we're going to go with the C1V1 equals C2V2. I've modified the formula a little bit. So 1 is replaced by stock and then 2 is replaced by WS, which is short for working solution. So we have all this data the concentration C stock, which is the concentration for our stock solution, that's 200 mg per ml. Volume of stock, we don't know because that's exactly what the question is asking us to find. We're given that we have 100 ml total, but we don't know out of the 100 ml total, how much are we going to use. So we actually do not have the volume of stock. So we're going to find that. And then the concentration of our working solution, we do have that info. That's the 25 milligram per ml. And then the volume for working solution, that's the 50 ml that we're asked to make. So we have all the three info, we plug it in, we can find the volume for stock solution, which we solve the math. So volume of stock solution is going to work out as 25 times 50 divided by 200. We bring the 200 to the other side, and that comes out to be 6.25 milligram. So basically what it means is we need to take 6.25 milligram of that 200 milligram per ml stock solution. And then we need to add water. And then that is going to give us that 50 ml working solution. So that means if we add up the volume of the stock solution, 6.25 ml, with the volume of the ionized water, which we don't know and need to find, that basically is going to become the working solution, which is 50 ml, what the question tells us. So we rearrange this formula to give us the volume of the ionized water. Basically, we take that 50 ml and then we subtract from that 6.25 that we found, and that's going to give us 43.75. That is the volume of water that we need to add to our stock 6.25 ml in order to prepare a 50 ml working solution. So with that, we're done looking for the volume of stock solution and the volume of the ionized water that's needed to prepare our working solution. Here's a video that I've handpicked for you. Do check out our app that's available in both Google Play and App Store. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with someone. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss future videos. Your support means a lot to me.